Child trafficking is a serious issue in Nigeria and efforts have been made to address and combat this problem by the federal government of Nigeria. Curbing child trafficking in Nigeria requires a concerted effort from various stakeholders, including the government, law enforcement, non-governmental organizations, communities, and international partners. Speaking to Sheung Akioye, an award-winning journalist on what he thinks the Nigeria government should do in curbing child trafficking in the country. He has this to say. Um, now, um, how can we curb the menace of uh, child trafficking in Nigeria? Now, the first thing that we need to do is, uh, is go, in the, go the way of, of the law, go the legal way. Now, we have the Child Rights Act, which was um, enacted in 2003. And as we speak now, only 24 states out of the 36 states in Nigeria have actually domesticated that act. Now, how can you have a law? that is so important for the future of this country that has to deal with the children that we are giving birth to in this nation and those that we call the future, the, you know, the future leaders of Nigeria. How can we have such a law? And about 12 states in Nigeria will say it is of no interest to them. So that is the first thing that we need to do. How can we get all these states to domesticate the Child Rights Act and make it nationwide in the country? Now we have some of these 24 states that have done it, but then again, looking at them, how is the implementation? What are we doing, even in those states that have domest domesticated it? How are we going forward with the implementation of that law? There are so many, you know, so many sections in that law. You know, the section that prohibited, um, uh, like Section 27, that prohibited uh, trafficking in children. You know, that, you know, uh, uh, education is important and compulsory for our children. These are extremely important laws for the children in Nigeria. So we need to put mechanism in place. We need to put agencies at the state level, you know, we have the national level and we have the subnational. At the state level, let us have agencies of government that will know that this is their job to implement this law in their states. So these are the things that we must do first and foremost before we even start to talk about um, prosecution and all of those things. Speaking to few Nigerians on the streets of Abuja, decry the high rate of child trafficking in the country. Global concern because um, to take someone's child, even with the consent of the parent, to go to a country that you don't know what he's doing, is not like the age, let's say like uh, someone of 15 or 16. At least they are teenagers. They can't make their decision on their own of their future. So when you take them to other states or whatever country it is, it will really affect both sides. One, it will increase the rate of crime on the other side. And here, you are reducing the numbers. The government should take the responsibility of what it's supposed to do. Like um, providing welfare to the people, provide basic infrastructure, provide education. When government did that, no one will go out of the country. No one, everyone loves Nigeria. There's a situation in my company yesterday. They brought a child, a, a girl of 13 years, that left home for about two months. Police arrested her. So she was trying to deceive them that this is the place, this is the place. She refused to show them the particular place. So that, that is also child trafficking. I think government to enact a law, a, a law that should be able to cope up those things. Because if you, if you want to do anything serious in any country that is serious, you go down to the law. Amend the law. If you know that the law is not, is not enough to pursue somebody, you go to the law and enact a strong law. When your law is very strong, people respect it. And deterrent is the mother of everything. It's one, one do today, go. Another one happen tomorrow, go. Another one, nobody will take it serious. But if the government will take a decisive decision about it and prosecute one or two persons, everything will stop. Cutting child trafficking in Nigeria requires a multifaceted approach that addresses the root causes strengthens law enforcement and promotes awareness and education. It is crucial to involve communities and address the underlying socioeconomic factors that contribute to vulnerability. Additionally, international collaboration and a victim-centered approach are key components of an effective strategy. Esther Oshosonya Hills TV Abuja.